Hi, everybody. How are you doing? It's Stephen Houston and Angela Jar. You already know that if you've been on this channel before, uh, but we always like to repeat it just in case we have brand new uh, viewers. Uh, welcome to our channel. On this channel, you know that we discuss the facts and we provide third party documentation. We allow you to decide. So let me just interject here before Angela goes on with the leads because I mean, I just want to make a point that we're not wealthy people. <laughs> so, I mean, we understand intimately what it's like to put your credit card down for leads when you just bought 10 and didn't close any sales. I mean, it's, it's, but again, one of the words I, I talked to a lot of people about, you have to get numb to the process of the fact that the way to success here and, this, and the ability to scale your income is to get in front of people that are interested in our product. And the lead program, as long as you're working with an IMO that has a good quality lead program, the leads, the fresh leads, especially, are, is the way to success. And so um, that's, that's the whole purpose of this video is that Angela spent more money on leads last month than she ever did before, but I won't uh, spoil, spoil the outcome. The but the point is, is that, you know, we're not wealthy people. We get it totally that, you know, that it's almost counterintuitive that, uh, that when you're short on cash, you keep buying things. But it is the way to get in front of people. The friends, family, and neighbors thing doesn't work consistently over time. But what does work is getting in front of people, kneecap to kneecap, that have an interest in your product. So I just want to kind of throw that out there. And you know, sometimes it goes back to a, the old adage that, you know, I'm sure everybody's pretty familiar with. And that is, um, in anticipation of Punta Cana, uh, Steve and I are working out pretty, pretty regularly. You know, we're kind of done with the winter hibernation and um, there's a phenomenal gym just up the street from our house. And so we go there um, at least three or four times a week, sometimes more depending on how motivated we are. Um, but you don't quit the gym. I didn't quit the gym after the first night that we went because I wasn't thin again, right? I didn't lose 20 pounds the first night that we went to the gym, neither did you. But over the course of the last 30 days, we've both noticed a tremendous difference and a tremendous change in our bodies. But there is no one particular day that I could go back to and say that's the day that that's the day that the change started to happen. It's just gradual. And you also didn't cancel a gym membership I didn't cancel. because we weren't getting the immediate results. Right. I mean, it's the same no. thing applies. Sometimes, like I said, it's counterintuitive, but right. um, we're, you know, even on nights when we don't want it, the last thing we want to do is to go sweat over a treadmill, uh, we go because we know that's the path to success. Right. Yeah, go ahead. And you know, working this business functions the same way. So in terms of leads, here's what, um, here's what, we, what we've purchased. And there are some categories um, that kind of third tier of leads that Steve and I don't typically work as much anymore simply because um, of the time investment. You have to work more leads to, to, to book appointments, to, to, to get into somebody's home and blah, blah, blah. So older leads are not typically what we work on a regular basis. We typically on an average month um, whether we're running for a contest or not, typically work primarily um, fresh primary primary leads. So those are leads that um, would have come back within the last <clears throat> one week to maybe three or four weeks. They're they're very fresh from their closing date of escrow or, or from purchase or from a refinance. Um, so in those primary leads, we purchased 45 primary leads. Um, I was surprised. I didn't realize we I didn't realize we, really we'd purchased that many. Um, I did. I saw, I saw the credit card statement. <laughs> 48. 48 B, or uh, it's like a second tier lead. Okay, so those are. Um, They've been sold again. If you're working with an IMO, understand IMOs are not in the lead selling business. At least most of the one we're with is not. We, they simply sell leads to get our agents, to support our agents in the field, to get them in front of customers that are interested in our product. They're, so these are leads that have been sold one time to, a, to, a, to an agent with our IMO. Other people's second tier leads that are in the lead selling business, it's a second tier lead, but it could have been sold a thousand times because right. they, they, they want to sell it a thousand times. There's no guarantee. It's not removed when someone sells that customer product. It still stays in the system and is sold again and again and again because there's no connection to the insurance product to the lead, right? In our IMO, when, the, when it's sold a product, the lead's removed. It's a big difference you have to, people have to understand when you talk about IM, IMOs and being with an IMO that has the technology to remove that lead so that you and I don't buy it again and it's already been sold something. So again, the big difference, difference is, is that some people sell leads, some people sell insurance. We sell insurance. Go ahead. Um, so 
that was that second tier, 48 second tier leads. Um, so a little less money. Um, and then <clears throat> third tier leads, which have probably been um, in, at least for us, they've been in the system for, you know, could be as much as um, three to six months or so. Um, and we bought 44 of those. Uh, so a total of... Um, Drum roll, please. About 138 leads, I think it is. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't add the total up exactly. So it's 45, 48, and 44. So you can do the math on that. Um, and the total amount of money that was spent on leads... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, $2,537 spent on leads. Now, I want to tell you a Which little... Which is a lot for us, but it's not yeah. a lot for others. We have people that, that, that spend that you know, $1,000 or so a week. Uh, but they're making a lot more money, so it's and, all scalable. And I'm going to put a um, caveat on that. Um, there are quite a few leads <laughs> within that, within that, um, within those three different categories that that have not been reached yet. That I haven't had a chance. Yeah. They, they've all been called through, but some of them I just haven't reached yet. Some of them haven't answered the phone. Some of them haven't booked an appointment yet. Some of them have appointments um, this coming week, um, and so it's always really interesting for me to try and say this is what we spent on leads because some of those leads we've spent the money on them but they might not close until next month so yeah. but at, for for all intents and purposes uh $2,500 on leads and when I first did this number I even I was a little bit I went wow $2,500 that's rare Especially when she's at Macy's. I know. At so, Macy's, I'm not so concerned about it. Yeah, I know. So, um, that's okay. So, yeah. I also I'm spent not, some money at Macy's we're gonna keep this, this We're going to we we keep this that. focus on insurance. Um, so, let's, yeah. Um, you know, you had a little shopping spree afterwards, though. I did. Yeah. Yeah, I did. A little did. shopping spree at little Macy's. A little shopping spree, a yeah. couple stores. And then we're going on a little, 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 trip. little trip down to uh, Pismo Beach, which is the only decent beach in California. That's, yeah. you know, that's, you can walk on. Uh, but anyways, so let's talk about dials. Um, okay. Let's, let's talk, talk, cause again, I think a lot of people, this is a point where everybody wants to know what, what really happened. I mean, you don't, you don't get anybody hanging up on you and, and swearing, at you, swearing at you when you're using good leads, right? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> um, okay. So there were a couple of really interesting things about, um, our, my dials this month. And because we've been really focused on production, and I didn't run all of the production, by the way. So Steve ran appointments, I ran appointments. Um, there were certain nights when we were both out running appointments. Um, in terms of dials, um, I think my dial number was about 550, uh, maybe 650, it was somewhere in that range. Um, and here's, and some people, I think, if you're dialing older leads, some people will hear that number and go, well, that's not very many dials, 600 dials. And people that are working only like primary leads would say that's an awful lot of dials. So you have to remember that we had a real mix of leads. And I will always say this, fresher leads are always easier to work because um, I had, and here's a quick story for you. So uh, last um, Thursday, I purchased two primary leads, okay? And it was, a, do I have time to tell the story? Sure. Okay. So, quick story. Um, there were two leads in a county that we have always had good success in. But within this county is a particular city that, um, the way the county line is drawn, there's a particular city that is way outside of our, like, our travel area. Just because it's in the mountains, it's um, kind of a little bit of a treacherous drive, it's not necessarily the safest or easiest drive, and so we typically don't buy leads in that particular area and we always cross our fingers that there aren't a whole lot coming in from that area because it's a really difficult remote in the winter time it gets snowed over sometimes you might not be able to come home uh, some of you have heard of the Donner party <laughs> so it's it's all those you know things anyway these two leads happen to pop up on our radar and um, Steve said ah oh, but one of them is in this particular area and if you buy if you just go in to buy one, you're going to end up getting that particular one. So um, I thought, ah, oh, we just, I'd like to run a couple more appointments and get them in before the end of June. So I went in and um, I plopped down my credit card and I bought both leads. 
So one in an area that I really didn't want, and one in an area that I really did want, because it's a city that we've always done. And the well reason in. why that is is because the leads are sorted by counties. So and the county, right. counties can be really quite large, uh, and there's certain times of the year we don't go across Donner's Pass because the yeah. because it's too treacherous winter wise. So that's what she's saying is we couldn't we couldn't just take that one lead. You had to buy it by the county. We had to buy the whole, everything that was in that county yeah. for that grouping. So. Um, I thought, well, worst case scenario is I'll book an appointment with this lead in, you know, over the pass and we'll have to drive over the pass and go work it. And, um, you know, best case scenario is I'll get appointments with both leads. So I dialed the one over the pass, didn't get an answer on the phone. And then I called the lead um, that was in the county that we wanted. And remember, I'd only had the lead for about 10 minutes at this point, um, And the phone number was bad. So I started playing with the with the digits, trying to figure out, um, you know, what could what could he have possibly been writing down? Some people have terrible handwriting, um, and the reason I say that is because I get a lot of people that they dial a phone number that they think it is once, and then they call us and they say, uh, "Oh, this lead was bad." Um, you got to sometimes you got to you know roll your sleeves up a little bit. What does it mean? It means you have to have a desire. You have to have a big enough right. desire to push through and figure out ways to resolve the lead. Right. We pay for that lead. We're going to figure it I out. Paid you got to get the car and drive to the man's house. Yeah. We're going to resolve the lead. So I um, compared the one digit that was weird to another digit on the page, and I thought, ah, that's what it is. So I dialed the phone number, and he answered the phone. And so I went through my phone script, and I said, you know, I happen to be available this evening. And Steve and I actually have plans for Thursday night, I think, for dinner. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, uh, well, I could do it at 730. And he said that would be fine. And so 7.30 night I drove, it's an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes to where this, in this particular area. Um, went up there, sat with the man, two hours later wrote uh, $1,950 worth of uh, premium. And um, for that I had spent on both leads, uh, less than 10% of the total, vol actually 5%, less than 5% of what I had spent on the lead I is, is what I spent on the lead to make $1,900 and um, when I was leaving the man turned to me and said you know I keep getting these letters and I keep getting these phone calls and people keep calling 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 and I, I, I you know I never answer my cell phone I've just been ignoring the calls but for some reason when you called today I picked up the phone I didn't know who you were but I picked up the phone and um, so it was a win-win for everybody but you don't you know you you'll never have those experiences if you don't, um, if you don't step up and pay retail to invest in your business, and you have to invest in your business, there are no. That's my whole comment about we have freedom, but we work really, really hard. Um, you know, when we're not <laughs> when we're we not have goofing off, we have liberty. Right, liberty is the ability to do what you want to do. Freedom is we live in a free country, at least so far. All right, so that's uh, leads and dials, and we're going to cut the video here, right? And, uh, and then we're going to resolve this and see what it actually turned out. We're going to talk about the number of appointments you had out of those leads. Uh, and we're going to talk about what it resulted in income. Find out how we're going to pay that Macy's bill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, don't forget to press the subscribe button below. Hit the bell that gets you instant notifications, Angela. Angela never watches our own I videos. Haven't figured out how to, <laughs> I haven't figured out the bell. Press the bell, hit the subscribe button, and make some comments.